Greetings everyone, hello and welcome back to Stranded Early Dawn once more at the end of year 2 is coming in and yeah, we should actually celebrate this with what? With wine, I should say. Uh, we have lots, really lots of fruit, right? And there's so much fruit out there, it's incredible. The, the berry bushes are everywhere and they're so easy to harvest. So in this case here, let's use it. We cannot use it for cooking really, at least not by itself for some strange reasons. Um, we do actually need to mix it with something else and that something else is alcohol. And then we do get um, some di uh, some delicious dishes there. But for that, first we need to get the winemaking going. We have the carbon armor right now. Let's actually switch the winemaking in. Um, we have the fermentation barrels that are sitting around idle right now. And we can just make yeah, wine out of bushes then. And this is better than beer, honestly, right? Because it's way more alcoholic. It makes people happy. And it doesn't consume that much grain that we actually need for other things anyway. And berry bushes or fruits is something we don't really need other than for winemaking. So that's that, um, we're going to quickly research that. We have another solar flare, uh, in this case here, energy consumption is quite high, even though, even with that, we are actually positive. So that should be fine for the moment. And yeah, also we got the meat in, right? There it is, raw meat um, that we are actually drying right now. Uh, and when they're trying it, let's go for it. And let's actually make yeah, meat out of, or well, dried meat out of that. Once this is full, we actually get it. Um, I don't know if it does actually work during winter. It does, perfect, right, perfect. More CPU cores, so we don't need to produce them ourselves all the time. That's also great, because it saves me some time. And smoke leaf, hides, and then the raw meat. Wine making, there it is. Let's go in, and yeah, I think once again, let's actually mirror that for wine there it is until we have yeah, let's make 50 and those two are going to arrow it then this should be fun yeah amber has a meltdown no idea why common cold she's good uh, cold wise it's totally fine i guess she's just sad Another attack, oh, some strange creatures, huge mantis that we have there. These are new, I think. And not particularly fast they are, but ooh, they're attacking my turrets there. They're attacking the walls. Yeah, they can actually breach the walls. That's a new kind of threat. Like yes, we do have stone walls, so they're holding out for quite some time. Still, dangerous animals there. Holy cow, and they have a lot of hit points. Way more dangerous than I thought they would be. Alright, that was that was not so not so easy, honestly. Let's butcher them except for one. I would like to observe it. Perhaps we can find some weaknesses there. And they're called the scissor hands. As razor sharp front legs. Its four legs make it fast and agile. Traits which get further enhanced by its remarkable senses. Alright. We could tame them actually. Interesting. Toxic Ash once again. I think Jack already has it equipped. The mask. Oh. Jack, please equip one of those. Ah, we had it on Quinn, right? Yep. So Jack is going to get one. The ones that are outside usually get uh, get some masks here, right? Uh, Amber, she's also out there quite often. There you go. There's still one more. I think Ken, he can also do this. I think that's it then, right? Do we not have more? Probably will need to craft me a few more. And there it is, finally, carbon armor has been researched and with that we can finally craft durable armor pieces from carbon nanotubes. We already have 90 of them. And as we can see uh, in direct comparison, first of all, we only need them those carbon nanotubes. Um, and also they have way more protection against blunt deflection and piercing deflection. So basically, 
um, direct hits on them and also ranged attack on them as well, the piercing deflection. So yeah, that's just overall more protection with the same uh, temperature tolerance increases. Unfortunately, not better. So let's just wait it out for the improved one, right? Perhaps this one has a better temperature distribution. Um, that's that, then the pistol, yeah, and then we could go into gaming, right? Arcade machines, looking forward to this as well. And there we have it, dried meat, also for the first time, out of my drying rack, and let's just see if this actually does anything for the boxer now. And we can tame it now. Of course, it still is important to decide who actually does it, so we have this, I think, under the handling. No, it's under the wrenching, right? Yeah, there's the taming, and Rita, she's level 8, so she's probably going to do this as well. I love my Rita, honestly. <laughs> she's great. Alright, it's actually Kendo that watched, uh, that went out there. He's not that bad, and with that, we have a dog. You can now order survivors to lead the animal to a selected location. There it is! Boxer, tamed. Domesticated. And we can now train him. For combat. Nah, we're not doing that though, right? So he's basically just someone for the camp. Do we have a second boxer there? I think there was a second one. Yes, let's also tame this one. Of course, they will always need food. Of course, the dog needs to sleep somewhere. So we do need a sleeping spot for the dog. Um, yeah, probably preferably somewhere where it's warm and he's also not in the way of anyone. So probably instead of that workbench there, we could have then a, yeah, a dog somewhere over there. Let's just see how we can do this. The heater, we can probably move here to the door, right? This area there. Yeah, come on, you can do this. Doesn't take you long. Then we can move this one over a bit. Oh, wait a second. No, actually, let's do this. I have the spot here now, right, that I can use. Hmm, not that it will. I think we could move the music though. A bit to the center here. Makes more sense anyway to me. And the heater we can also move here. And with that we have the spot there actually. Silicon deposit! Oh, we can also mine silicon now. Very good. There was a shiny rock that we observed that actually did the trick. Daniel, you can do this. Thank you very much. With that, we have the space available for a sleeping spot for the dog. Just here by the fireplace. That looks cozy. We'll also need an animal feeder then. For domesticated animals, the raw food we can actually then have. Um, the question is, where should we have it? Outside or inside? Mm, let's have it out of stone for sure. Cleaner. And yeah, let's have it actually here at the front entrance, right? We can now assign Boxer to this, and he now sleeps here. Jack, why? Why, Jack? Why are you constantly unhappy? I know you have this pain thing going on. Still, you've got everything you need. Liver pain is still there. First wine harvest is in. Very good. This will make people super happy. My boxer is starving. Yeah, what are you doing out there? Uh, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's not particularly happy. He can be led now to the camp where OVD food is waiting for him. Uh, Ken and Rita both are sleeping. Someone is already doing it? Yeah, Ember. He's super far away. Like, it's not even a comparison. Alright. Also, we got the improved carbon armor and the laser pistol. Let's have a look at the improved carbon armor right away. Carbon vest 0 2.0, version 2.0. And yeah, it has even more flexion, right? But that's it. It looks cooler too. Red. That's something. 
And yeah, with that, we can actually officially say goodbye to my synthetic vests. We have been crafting them for a very long time now. And now we're actually going into the carbon vests. And let's start with three for each part. Consuming then all the carbon nanotubes that we have. No one is getting the dog over. Why? What's going on? Leading boxer. There it is. Reacher is doing it now. I hope he survives. He's starving. Also, it's time to stop producing crossbows. Right, the vegetator we can also get rid of. Uh, synthetic cloth we can keep. And the bow is also gone. And instead of that, we can now have then the laser weapons. I think here they are. Laser pistol out of the power cells that we have. Right. And we can also now... No, we actually cannot produce power cells yet. We need to wait for the first harvest of the crystals. And there is Boxer, finally fully fat as well. He's got lots of meat there, insect meat. And yeah, actually we don't need to have insect meat here. We could also make slop out of it. Um, that is then some animal food. And that slop we can actually, or we actually already produce it. But the limit is still 20, let's increase that to 50. And we're using some insect meat and anything else that we can find basically. Put it together for some, some food there. But he should be he should be fine for a long time now. Since he eats meat, of course. Um, yeah, with that we have a dog. <laughs> and he's now here. We can actually, in honor for him, make a stature out of the dog. So why not? Mm, unfortunately, I cannot have it there right at the, the wall, but I would definitely like to have a nice statue there in the center to honor our, our dog. Alright, another thing, carbon fortifications. This will be the upgrade for my for my towers, basically, that we can yeah upgrade them and then the force field uh, as well. And after that, I might actually just go into the arcade machines. Another thing that Jack finally likes and that is appreciating the dog stature. <laughs> so he's actually really happy for Jack's, Jack's standards, right? And yeah, many fun things to do, appreciates the decorations. Um, he's, he's actually got fun with the dog and he also has delicious food, which makes him happy too. Now it's a bit dark here. Oh, by the way, new apparel, the carbon leggings 2.0, we have finished as well. Our next step in the carbon um, yeah, in, in the, the carbon sets that I'm actually doing right now. And what we do have next, also a bit of light, right? So two things actually, we're still, I'm still uncertain about the power cell. Um, yet I would actually like to start with a power cell generator. It doesn't cost that much actually to build. Um, it is then expensive to maintain, right? Still, I would like to start with that. Just basically because really, 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 um, I want to get a bit more independent from solar panels and wind turbines. So this is something that we that we'll need to have here then. And let's also go ahead and make me then a, another pole here for this area then as well. That's one thing. And then I would also like to have a bit a look at the light. So we have the the floodlight, right? I definitely want to um, illuminate that a bit more. Do, don't we have any in between? Uh, electrical wall lamp we have. The wall torches we have, but we don't have anything really a bit more neutral, perhaps, <laughs> except the floodlight. Um, I don't know. Yeah, we could have the tilted floodlight here, or no, let's actually have the floodlight here one, right, so that we have a bit of light around the house then as well. And here for sure, and we might also have then one here by the, by the statue there close by, by the wall. Don't really cost that much. Another new year, year yeah, let's go ahead. We have survived another year, year two is over. In a very good shape we are too. Uh, grain at 800, uh, yeah, that's okay. I would love to have a bit more of grain next year. Um, but the pickled vegetables will also do their job then at that, right? It should be fine. Actually, I don't think we are going to need that floodlight there, right? I think those two here will be fine already as it is. Right, 109 beetles out there. That's okay. I'm not really afraid of them. I would also like to have a few more of these statues, right? We have an Ulfin statue. 
only cost me a bit of stone. Um, and it really makes people happy. So, let's have one of these there too. Probably, hmm. Here in the back? Or, or here? Nah, this is not. Looks too cramped then. We'll have it up here. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. At the end of my, this hill there. This makes sense to me, right? I have this this statue up there overlooking it. But anyone who wants to appreciate that can take a quick hike up there and then enjoy the sight of that. The drone is then transporting that. That's pretty cool. All right, no problem there. We have a bit down on stone there, so let's actually go ahead and cut us down some stone there again. And we have 400 bricks, by the way, so everything would be ready for this nice upgrade that I'm looking forward to of the house itself. And there's the power cell generator. And it's actually lasting for full 20 days. That's great, right? So this is actually a lot. And it's producing a lot of electricity with that. And yeah, with that, we're pretty much well off. 100 electricity. Every 20 days we need one. Oh. Why are they attacking now already? Uh, no idea. They should not attack yet. Animal attack there it is, but the machine gun is actually doing the job already. Right, both of them. No props. We don't even need my survivors doing anything for this. Alright, a second wave of attack is coming in over here now. We got two waves of enemies right now. This might actually be something we need to take care of then a bit more carefully. Let's also activate this laser turret there. Not particularly happy with how my energy is looking despite all of this here working. Also the diesel generator is working so we really consume that much electricity all the time. Hard to believe. I mean, yeah, that 3D printer is doing an, an, an amazing job at consuming it. And I think we could actually turn off the the research for now. This should actually tip the balance in our favor. And we also don't need a soldering bench. Yeah, those beetles, they're not attack attacking in full force, right? They're coming in step by step in small clusters and this makes it very easy for my turrets to just take care of them. Also that statue looks fantastic. <laughs> and I really don't stand a chance. This attack though is a bit more severe but for that we'll need then to activate my settlers too. And also the carbon boots have been finished. Okay, now comes the big attack. All of them together there again. Birds are already online. We might also turn on the laser now. We'll have lots of energy there. Are they coming? Nasty looking creatures there, for sure. It's a really warm winter, by the way. 8 degrees right now, so this is not a problem. Yeah, those guys here are coming in quick. Uh, there's no light over there. What a shame. 
they're casually just attacking now here my to get my survivors over there so they can help out shooting I need to take care of them quickly I really don't want to lose a, a turret there all right that's it right yeah just the hungry pet uh, pests again the small ones they're not a big threat there to me perfect so at least that's that now you can go celebrate new year <laughs> it was right at new year's eve really um and tomorrow you can go back to work then and yeah with that we have survived another year people are going to celebrate to the occasional shooting of my turrets also scaring away any kind of pets that are still coming in pests hopefully uh and we continue onwards in the next episode of Stranded Alien Dawn. Stay tuned!